Hi guys. Yeah, we're going to cover how to add an unsubscribe link to your CRM email templates. Now, this is extremely important for you to do because legally you should include an option to opt out. Um, first, before we get started, just be sure to subscribe. Just hit the little bell and make sure that you follow us. Um, but yeah, we are going to talk about how to do that. And I am using Zoho One. We already have an email template that we've created and we simply want to add an unsubscribe link to the bottom of this. And so Zoho has made it fairly easy to create an unsubscribe link. The way you would do that is go to the settings while in the CRM and then go to developer space and web forms. You'll see an option here that says unsubscribe link. Click on that. It's letting you know, well, this is a fairly new feature the way that they have it set up now before it was a little different. But we're gonna create a new link and we're gonna call it unsubscribe. We're gonna keep the standard settings um, just because I wanna just make sure that you guys know how to create this. And then obviously if you wanna create a custom page um, that goes to your website and has the unsubscribe option there, then you could do that. But for here, we're just gonna use the standard and click save. That's literally it. Like we have an unsubscribe link. You'll see here it says unsubscribe links can be created here and added to a template using the create link option. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go over to the template. This is a template in the leads module and we're gonna edit it to add the link. All right, and so what I'm gonna do is add it here. I'm just gonna type the word unsubscribe. All you do is click on it to highlight it, add a link, and in this drop down you see the option, unsubscribe link. You can have more than one link. We've only created this one. This was default, the default link, but we're gonna add our unsubscribe link and hit save. So you can name these differently if you need different unsubscribe links for different things. And that's it. We're gonna save the template. And now when that email goes out, it will have that unsubscribe option for um, the reader and they can unsubscribe if they choose. When they do that, this little option here that says opt out, email opt out, right here, it will check. And if this box is checked, if you send out mass emails or if you have workflows turned on where they automatically send out emails based on certain you know things, then that will not go to that particular, the emails won't go to that particular person because they've opted out. So. Yeah, it's that simple. Um, you could test that out once you're done with it. You can go and actually send an email out, click the unsubscribe link, remove your email, and see that this box is checked. If you have questions or comments, just leave them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to try to answer any questions. And also, just be sure to download our free ebook. We have a free ebook called A Simple Guide to Customizing a Simple System Using Zoho. And it walks through a lot. It shows you how to get your system up and going. And um, also we have Successful Learning, which is our academy where you can go on. And there are some free courses there as well. And that's at learn.successfulsolutions.com, which you'll see at the bottom of the screen. All right, guys, until next time.